a boarding school? That's what Isa and his siblings, Hannah and Jacob, were probably thinking at the time. Why? See, they just finished a three-year journey in the United States uh, that led to them coming back home to Jordan. I mean, these children had to unlearn a language to learn a new one. And by the time they got grip of one of this language, the English language, now they head back home to try to unlearn that and learn the Arabic language. Mom and dad, who obviously their, their marriage is in, in trouble. The kids really don't know that. They don't understand just yet. They move in with in-laws. They move in with the husband's mom and dad, who then uh, ask uh, the children or ask the parents to put their children in a boarding school that is designed to be a blessing to kids without parents, those who have been marginalized, orphans. And that's why these children were saying, what? We're going to a boarding school? That boarding school? Why? Why? Grandpa has a nice house. He has merchants that rent from his estate. He gets income from real estate and a, a pension. And it's a pretty well-to-do, maybe not super rich, but well-to-do family. Why are they sending the kids among the poorest of the poor? That's what was going through these children's minds at the time. And I think about this and sometimes I hold myself back from getting emotional. But these are, these are experiences that happened in real life. And... I want you to think, how would you feel about being separated from your children? Lydia was, was not in agreement with having her children in that boarding school. Her protest fell on deaf ears. What was going through this woman's mind in a country with a lot of restrictions on women? What was going through her mind? That was like the absolute end to that marriage. And we start to see that, this that Lydia was not happy with that situation. Her kids essentially taken away from her to be placed in the boarding school to learn there. But everything happens for a reason. You may want to ask why was that school important? What can uh, these kids learn from it? What can they learn from being separated from their parents and being placed in, in that school? Um, you may want to ask uh, yourself, how do I feel about immigrants again? And you're going to see that question uh, come quite often because your perception may uh, be altered slightly every few chapters. It may not change at all. Um, but we ask the question anyway. So there's a question about uh, married couples moving in with their parents and the impact of that uh, for us to consider. What impact uh, on privacy, personal matters, personal decisions, is there when a couple decide to move in because they don't have much of a choice with their parents? In this case, Lydia and Isam, they move together. They 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 move in with Isam's uh, mother and father, and now they're under a new home, a new roof that has its own rules. How do we? manage that today? Why is that important today? What kind of question can we ask today? You know, 
uh, as as a married couple, is it is it always good to live with your in laws or with your parents along with your husband and children? Is that a temporary thing? Is that a permanent thing? So those are some things that we should reflect on during chapter four. How about the children? How about mixing uh, these Americanized children with uh, uh, not just your regular Arabic speaking kids, but the poorest of the poor and mixing middle class family with the uh, children, with uh, children that come from uh, homes that have no parents and potentially uh, very, very poor and living in poverty. Is that a good idea? Maybe it is. Uh, maybe Lydia in her own in her own humanity couldn't wrap her head around why that was important. But maybe there was a reason why that was part of the formation. These kids that she so wanted to protect had to go there. Why was the older brother held back and said, well, we're not going to send him just yet. Um, the school couldn't take him at the time. Or is it more of a cultural thing? So those are some questions we want to ask. What is my view of the immigrant journey in America? What is my view of the immigrant journey, period? Has my perception of the immigrant changed in any way? These are questions I wanted to pose as you're considering the text in chapter four. We'll see you in the next chapter.